Dear students, welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed about uh, the peritoneum. Now, in this session, I am going to introduce the posterior abdominal wall. The posterior abdominal wall is one of the complex part in the anatomy. And we have already discussed about the anterior lateral abdominal wall. Now we are going to discuss about the posterior abdominal wall. So this posterior abdominal wall is mainly formed by some skeletal framework and also the muscles are related to it and the fascia which surrounds these muscles. And the study of the posterior abdominal wall includes some of the structures like abdominal iota, inferior vena cava and some of the abdominal parts of ejigos and hemiagigos veins and lymph nodes related to the posterior abdominal wall and cisterna cali. And nerves of the posterior abdominal wall including lumbar flexes and the abdominal part of autonomic nervous system. So all these comes under this posterior abdominal wall. So now we will see, so what are the uh, bones which forms the skeletal framework for posterior abdominal wall or one is the lumbar vertebrae. So from L1 to L5 this lumbar vertebrae and it also includes the 12th rib and the bone that is uh, the part of the hip bone which forms the pelvic cavity the part of the hip bone which forms the pelvis so all these structures which forms the skeletal flame work for the posterior abdominal wall. So we have already discussed about this lumbar vertebrae and also the pelvis part and the 12th rib in the thoracic region. Okay, so, so this is the skeletal framework which helps in the formation of posterior abdominal wall. Now we will see what are the muscles which form the posterior abdominal wall or one is the psoas major muscle and then psoas minor. Next muscle is the quadratus lumborum and iliacus. So these are the major four muscles which forms the posterior abdominal wall and superiorly we can see the diaphragm also which forms the uh, posterior abdominal wall. And the fascia which is present in the posterior abdominal wall or so here this is the psoas major muscle okay and anterior to the psoas major muscle some psoas fascia is present which is continuous with the fascia transversalis and after that behind this psoas major muscle will find the thoracolumbar fascia. This thoracolumbar fascia is having three layers. One is the anterior layer, middle layer and the posterior layer. So these uh, layers which uh, give some partitions between the muscle groups. So here we can find the psoas major and then the quadratus lumborum and behind this quadratus lumborum you will have the deep back muscles that is uh, erector spinae muscle which is a very complex group of muscles that thing we will see separately and this thoracolumbar fascia we are going to study in a separate session also. Okay, so this is the thoracolumbar fascia. So what are the structures which are forming the posterior abdominal wall? One is the skeletal framework and the muscles attached to it and these muscles are covered by the intervening fascia. One is the psoas fascia and the thoracolumbar fascia. And next thing which includes in the study of the posterior abdominal wall 
or so this is the abdomen here you can find the separation here so this is the abdomen yes so this part is the abdomen and above this one is the thorax okay so if you find in this space you can find the abdominal aorta which is the continuation of the descending aorta and then inferior vena cava so we are going to study in detail about the abdominal aorta and inferior vena cava and the lymph nodes of the posterior abdominal wall so here you can find number of lymph nodes here and also very important one that is the cisterna cale and this cisterna cale finally uh, it forms as a thoracic duct okay so these are the important vessels that, that is the abdominal aorta and then the inferior vena cava the lymph nodes of the posterior abdominal wall and also another important thing is the nerves the nerves of the posterior abdominal wall includes the lumbar flexus this is the lumbar flexus here you can see so which is uh, very very interesting also so this flexus uh, and these flexus are going to supply some of the muscles of the back and this lumbar and the sacral flexus unite to form some nerves which are going to supply to the lower limb okay so we are going to study this lumbar flexus um in the posterior abdominal wall and also it includes the abdominal part of autonomic nervous system as well as the sympathetic chain here you can find this autonomic uh, nervous system in this pic so all these structures are included in the posterior abdominal wall study so in the next session we are going to deal the individual muscles of the posterior abdominal wall and also the thoracolumbar fascia thank you